Hi there, welcome back to Scribbles and Ink Stains. My name is Mary, and yes, my voice is still a little scratchy gravelly from this cold that I'm trying to kick, but we are here today to celebrate a new pen day. I have two new Twisby Eco Fountain pens in my stash and a new pen case some shimmer inks, so I hope that sounds interesting to you. When I moved into my special edition Traveler's Notebook airline edition this year, I decided to use a vertical weekly as a way of recording my weekly stationary favorites, and I've been doing that pretty consistently. Some days are more decorated than others, but that is my journey in this notebook. And basically I just look back on each week and document my stationary faves of that week. And so first thing I did when I unboxed this selection was set up a spread featuring the two Twisby Eco fountain pens that I purchased from Goulet, the rickshaw bag, and some of the inks with a little bit of collaging. I have decided to continue that in 2023, so I've purchased the Vertical Weekly 2023 Diary Set from Traveler's Notebook, the Coffee and Notebooks edition. I also got the sticker pack, but I'm waiting for that to arrive. And one of the pencil, two of the pencil boards, the coffee themed pencil boards. So this may show up in next week's spread, but for now, this is what the contents of this video will be. And right at the end, I will do a demonstration of this pen with a broad nib inked with the very same Dominant Industries Autumn Forest ink that is loaded into a Kuwaiko Sport broad nib. And there's some insight to those two pens. And there's sort of little spoiler here. There is a reason why I prefer the Twisby Ecos to the Kuwaikos. Okay, I'm gonna open the bottom of the box to give myself a little privacy on my address. Hope you all have been well. My voice is still a little hoarse from my recent bout with um, head cold situation. Pull it all out and then we will talk. So this is kind of my October stationary haul. Um, I've been trying to scale back a little bit and be a little more rational about my purchases. Okay, what should we look at first? Um, two Twisby Ecos, one in the new Cerulean blue, and the other is their kind of mint green in the Eco T model. So I'll be opening and inking these. I did grab a bottle of the Ferris Wheel Press, Queen and Castle. Ferris Wheel Press has utterly charming packaging and I wanted to get some close-ups of that for you. They have fairy tale motif all over the box, cute little cutout on the top with a Canadian maple leaf. They have the ink properties on one side of the box, a little bit of that story spinning on another side, and it continues all the way around. This one is called Queen and Castle and it is a one of their in one of their charming little round bottles. This is the 20 millimeter size and again you can really see the shimmer effect when you turn the bottle over. So gorgeous and I'm really happy with the way this one is behaving in my pen. So I'll be swatching this. I did pick up one of the new Sinclair Model R cases from Rickshaw and three little notebooks. Two of them house brand Tomoe River paper lined passport size and one is the Traveler's Company MD paper white insert which I am just about, I've just about filled my current book so this is a replacement and these are for probably ink swatches I was thinking of including one of these in my rickshaw case and then having some of my currently inked pens on the inside. This has three separate slots on the middle. They're 
plushy fabric and one wide open slot on the other side of the inside. The Goulet YouTube channel hosted a video showcasing kind of behind the scenes at Rickshaw and it's really easy to get behind such a small company. And the final thing is I got a spare stub nib for my Lamy All-Star. Um, I got a, I picked up the 1.5 millimeter stub. They really crank that bottle down. Going all the way to the bottom so I get some of that ink. Ooh, look at that color. I, I love that color. Kind of a greenish brown. And we'll see what the shimmer looks like. I do not have a little scrap of Tomoe River paper over here. Usually I've already got that set up, so I'm a little bit unprepared today. I love these earthy colors. This is a beautiful, beautiful autumn ink, so I'm absolutely going to be loading a pen with this, getting one of my little dots ready for the cap. Absolutely one of my favorite greens and one of my favorite shimmers. So what about you all? Do you actually use your shimmer inks? If so, um, how often do you clean them? I'm a little bit of a novice at this. I will give you some of the temptation there. It's so pretty. And I can tell you right now I want this to go into the Eco Broad, so let's open that up first. Okay, so super straightforward. I'm going to be bad and not rinse out this pen. I'm just going to load it up with the ink because I'm going to be a little impatient today. It is a piston filler. I love this mint green. The only place I could find this in a broad was Goulet because I'm going to use an eyedropper and get it from the bottom. A syringe would be easier, but this is eyedropper is what I had on hand. All right, now no problem. We are completely over that. And I have drawn the ink in. And that is pretty full. I've got a ton of air bubbles now because of that eyedropper situation. So this flow will not be super accurate until those bubbles go away. I do not want those in the feed of the pen. I see actually the feed is flooded with the ink, so let's hope that there aren't many air bubbles there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Twisby Eco T in broad. Wonderful. That is exactly what I had hoped for. It is pouring out of this nib. It is a wonderful pen for shimmer inks and I'm going to cap it and again hope that I get some of those bubbles worked out of that fill. And the second pen, also Twisby Eco. This one's the regular Eco, not the tea. This actually is the first Eco tea I've ever purchased and I'm not really noticing a distinctly triangular grip. To me, this did not feel it significantly different than just the Ecos, which is good to know because I sort of have always avoided these tees in the past. I'm not a huge fan of the Lamy, and it sort of looked like it was resembling those Lamy triangular grips on the Safaris, and I've just always preferred the Twisby pens to the Safaris. Second 
new pen today is the blue. This is the newly released Cerulean Blue. Really looking to actually use some of my shimmer inks. I want to load my Dominant Industries Autumn Forest. So this one is also a green shimmer ink. Autumn Forest. This one is more of a sage green with a plum shimmer. Okay, so the piston is down. Let's get this way in there so I get some of that shimmer. Not going for a super full fill. But these, again, because of their broader nibs, I will be able to write these dry pretty quickly. <clears throat> okay, dominant. Oops, I got a little burp there. Industry, Autumn Forest. I love it. Okay, so what I wanted to do now as a little bonus was to compare a Twisby with a medium nib to a Kaweco broad nib, both loaded with the same ink. Now, in this pen, I've got a little cartridge that was empty, and I have I think you can perhaps see some of the shimmer there, but I loaded this up with the Autumn Forest about a week ago. It's a broad nib. First one will be the Kaweco. Sport in Macchiato with a broad nib. This pen I loved with the Pitsion ink from Lennon Toolbar, but it just must be too dry of a writer to really be able to handle this shimmer ink. Now, by contrast, this is my Twisby. Loaded about two days ago. This is the medium nib. Twisby Eco. It's their entry level pen. Actually, now I believe they have a Twisby swipe that comes in a little cheaper. Piston fill. Um, you can see the contrast of this ink by the contrast of this ink that it has much heavier flow through a medium nib than the Kueco Sport did through that broad nib. And this one is a medium. And so everything from shading to shimmer will be more pronounced in this Twisby than it was in that Eco Sport. And I'm just really kind of Backing away from my Coleco Sports. This one has always been a super dry nib. It has given me hard starts before. I just feel like my Coleco Sports, I need a wetter ink um, in order to get the effects that I want. So I thought you would be interested in that. I will let that dry a little bit so you can I feel like you can pick up some of that sheen already, even before it's developed. Certainly over here on the dry side of the page, on the Midori paper, you can see much more sheen. Thank you so much for joining my new pen day for my two new additions to my Twisby Eco lineup. In closing, I'm going to load all of my Ecos in my rickshaw bag. And 
the others will stay on my desk for journaling at home. So look how cozy all of those egos are in this little cute little pouch. Probably by Tuesday next week, I'll be able to upload my video overview of my entire Twisby collection. Let me know what your favorite Twisby ink nib combination is. I would love to know. Thanks so much for your time and I will see you in my next video. Ciao.